Tonight, the new series Scorpion premiered on CBS. It's the story of real life computer genius Walter O'Brien, who lives here in Southern California. He tells CBS 2's Crystal Cruz how the business he created at the age of 13 is helping to solve some of the world's greatest threats. You might call Walter O'Brien a modern day superhero. I grew up as many folks my age did watching MacGyver and the A-Team and Knight Rider and those kind of shows and it's generally a bunch of oddballs trying to save the world and that's what I ended up doing. While some kids played sports growing up, Walter was hacking into computers like NASA's. He was found to be a genius with an IQ of 197, the fourth highest in the world, even higher than Albert Einstein. I thought it was an interesting explanation for why I was different. Um, I didn't quite know what it really meant at the time. I just knew it was the, the first time I had something that explained why I, why I was different from everybody else. At the age of 13, he created Scorpion Computer Services. Today, it's a billion dollar business tapped by the U.S. government and private companies to solve some of the world's greatest threats. The bases in Afghanistan, when we predicted that the drug lords there could uh, do biological warfare on the water supply to the base and put arsenic in the water supply to the base. And we predicted that three months before it happened and that saved over 400 lives. It was Scorpion's image surveillance which helped capture terror suspects from the Boston Marathon bombings. Now it's assisting the U.S. government with the country's biggest terror threat, ISIS. It's hard to get into specifics but we do a lot of satellite surveillance and image recognition on satellites. We did it for North Korea when they were analyzing if they had launch capability over to the U.S. And same thing with the Malaysian Airlines crash to make sure that the crash site wasn't tampered with. The 39-year-old billionaire lives in L.A. and now is an executive producer of the TV show Scorpion. Walter, it's wine. This is Walter's loft. It's made up for Hollywood purposes, unlike most of the show that's based on Walter's real life. It's a big change for a very private person now thrust into the public eye. This was a case of, do I sacrifice my privacy and anonymity um, and make my life a little less comfortable and risky in order to benefit the world in three ways, to influence young kids to study computers more, to have more geniuses come out of the closet and join us in our mission to do good, and then finally have more people be aware of us to know there is a group you can call when you have a problem. And with hacking making headlines from big company data breaches to photos from the cloud, Walter has tips anyone can benefit from. How do you protect all of your photos? In order to properly keep your data and your passwords, it takes discipline, it takes thought, it takes backing it up, it takes having duplicate machines, having long passwords, changing your passwords maybe every couple of months. I haven't lost any data since the early 80s. I have every email I've ever received, which is nice to have. Walter has accomplished more than many do in their entire lifetime, but he says there's more work to be done. And we've saved lives and cut terrorists and stopped the wars, and that's about the highest and best use of my skills to protect uh, the country. In Manhattan Beach, Crystal Cruz, CBS 2 News. And you can watch the story of Scorpion every Monday night at 9 o'clock right here on CBS 2.